Hey all, we are less than 24 hours away from our very first practice uh, of the spring season, which is really exciting, especially because tomorrow is going to be absolutely beautiful and we have not ever had our first day of practice with it being uh, anywhere near 70 degrees. We're obviously incredibly unfortunate, or excuse me, incredibly fortunate with the weather and we'll look forward to seizing all the opportunities that come with it of being able to be outside. So please remember that we are practicing all this week, Monday through Friday. We'll plan to run from three o'clock to five o'clock. Most girls will be out at the courts around 2.40, 2.45 to start warming up, and then we'll go ahead and actually get organized uh, by three o'clock. Remember though, you cannot enter the courts unless you have a physical. So if you have any additional questions about that, please don't hesitate to reach out. Please also note that I did say we have practiced Monday through Friday. That includes Wednesday. You all do not have school on Wednesday. We do, teachers do, uh, but you all do not have school Wednesday. We do have practice Wednesday, so please plan accordingly as far as rides um, and make sure you can get yourself to South Lion by three o'clock. Um, in addition to that, uh, the weather looks beautiful early in this week and then a little bit iffy just in terms of rain later in the week. We will communicate via Remind if practice is impacted in any way. Even if we do get some rain, we will most likely still have some form of practice, whether that's using part of the gym, whether that is meeting in my classroom uh, to do a little bit of film study, especially for our new players. Um, and so we will plan to practice Monday through Friday, even if we have some weather issues and we'll communicate through Remind um, as, as soon as we can, as those things are impacted, we'll send things out uh, to both parents and to students. So what is it that you need for tomorrow? This is a good reminder for anyone uh, who has been on the team before, and it's uh, of course important for anyone who has not been on the team. So obviously make sure you bring your tennis racket. If you do not have a tennis racket, or if you are borrowing someone's tennis racket that's uh, older than me, um, and I mean the racket's older than me, um, then there are practice rackets available. We do recommend you eventually getting your own racket, but I will have practice rackets available. Please send me a message through Remind or email so I know to make sure I bring enough if that's for you. Please also make sure you have athletic shoes. Uh, we are expecting everyone to have tennis shoes by the time that matches start. I actually grabbed mine, excuse me, for a brief second. Tennis shoes are going to have really thick rubber at the top and all the way around. You'll notice it comes like up the side there because tennis players tend to drag their toe. And if you're just wearing regular shoes, you'll end up with a, a hole in the side of your shoe. So make sure you've got rubber kind of wrapping all the way around. But if you don't have those for practice tomorrow, uh, any pair of athletic shoes that are going to support your ankles will be fine in the short term. Um, please make sure that whatever you wear, you have pockets. So if you are wearing shorts, if you are wearing yoga pants, if you're wearing a tennis skirt, make sure you have pockets, pockets for holding tennis balls. Please make sure that you do that. Please also make sure you have water and snacks available to you. Water is not provided this year uh, due to COVID protocols. We cannot have a common water jug or anything like that. Make sure you have plenty of water. Make sure you have a snack for after school um, as we'll be hard at work from three to five. So make sure um, you've got extra snacks, pack them in your lunch. You would rather have extra snacks than not enough and, and be hungry. Um, same with water. Make sure you fill up that water bottle before coming out. Make sure you pack an extra water, whatever it may be. Last but not least, make sure you bring a mask. I know you're going to have one from being at school. You're also going to need them uh, for tennis. When you are actually on the court practicing and playing, you will not be required to wear a mask. The currently MHSAA um, is not requiring tennis players to wear a mask when they are playing. However, when we stop to pick up tennis balls, when we meet, if we take a water break, um, anytime that you are not physically on court playing, you need to be wearing a mask. When you show up to practice, you need to be wearing a mask. So please do not walk um, into the tennis kind of facility of sorts, walking through the gates without a mask on. Make sure you are wearing a mask um, until you are assigned to court and uh, we can get you out there safely. And we have to be really smart about how we spread people out, but we will make sure we do a really nice job of that. Last but not least, um, if you know anyone who has been on the fence about tennis or um, maybe has talked about joining but didn't turn in their paperwork, please make sure you send this video along and please make sure they reach out to me tonight so we can plan for them. Um, we are happy to have people show up tomorrow, but I need to know that they are coming um, or else it's gonna be a little bit hard for planning and we have to be extra careful with our planning this year of all years. Folks, if you have any additional questions, comments, concerns, shoot me an email at pruderj at slcs.us or even easier, message me through Remind. Thanks so much. Can't wait to see you all tomorrow.